All right, here's a story about a mission that took five decades to accomplish. Two Vietnam veterans are meeting face to face today, one who flew a helicopter and the other who was saved because of that. Now these veterans are hoping to inspire others to have more reunions just like this. Brothers in combat. It was all smiles and more than a few tears as Dave Lukenhaus, Daniel Creed, and Dave Berlinghoff met for the first time outside of Vietnam. It's an indescribable emotional, positive emotional experience to close the loop and to find somebody that that rescued you. It's just something that's been on my mind for forever. You know, how much I would like to show the man some appreciation that risked his life on that rotten morning. 54 years ago, Dave Berlinghoff was on the battlefield in Vietnam. There was a tremendous explosion and a, a flash of light. And I remember being in the air somewhere, but then I felt the thump when I came back down. Next to him? I heard the uh, an explosion and uh, rifle fire. Daniel Creed, who heard the call for a medevac helicopter. The pilots, what they did for the guys on the ground, uh, they always came. The pilot that day, Dave Lukenhaus. The statistics for Vietnam medevac crews was one in three would be dead. Who knew the risks and came anyway. I remember Dave was grimacing in pain. Uh, and then off they went. Berlinghoff lost his leg, but that medevac ride saved his life. How do you thank a man that saved your life? It's, it's so powerful. Brought together in Shelby Township for this reunion. They're both cut from the same cloth as far as duty and service, selfless service. And I'm very, very proud to know both of these individuals. And the hope now is others may be able to find this same emotion and joy through a reunion, no matter how much time has passed. Take the first step, you know, uh, try to find a way. And the National Ar Archives is a great resource. They also plan to meet up for a formal reunion with other Vietnam veterans at a later date in Colorado.